Sartopia YouTube channel. Today we are going to talk about a concept that is super fun. Are you ready for this? Gross domestic product. I know, calm down. All right. Gross domestic product. Now, gross domestic product, we're not talking about gross as in icky. We're talking about gross as in total. Gross means total. Domestic means in a country. So if you take a domestic flight, you're taking a flight to somewhere else in your country. And then product obviously means what is produced. So if we now know the meaning of those words and you put them all together, gross domestic product, you're talking about what's produced in a country in a year. The total value of all those things. So that's basically what it means. Now, how it's calculated. Governments are typically the ones in charge of calculating the GDP. So, kind of what happens. Stick with me, okay? Imagine that the government has a big calculator. And at the end of the year, they get all the facts and figures from all the different companies in a country. And they use their handy government calculator, not really, the calculator is a metaphor, but they use their calculator to add up all of the products and services sold in a country in a year. And when they finally hit the equal button on that calculator, the number at the end is usually very big, okay? Let's take USA, for example, okay? USA, where are you? USA's GDP, 15.29 trillion dollars, or this giant number right here, okay? Huge GDP, huge. We spend a lot of money in the United States, okay? Another country with a huge GDP, let's see, who we got? China, China is huge. It's the most populated country in the world. Their GDP, $11.44 trillion, or boom, right there, check that out. Okay, that huge number right there. Huge GDP, a lot of adding up in the calculator at the end of the year, okay? Now, there's another word that we learn having to do with GDP in sixth grade social studies, and that is GDP per capita. Per capita just means per person. So how do you think you could get the GDP per capita if all you have is the GDP and the population? You think about that right now. Do, 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 do. So now that you've had some time to think, I hope it's obvious. Now, if you have a country's GDP and you have a country's population and you need to figure out what that country's per capita GDP is, you just need to do some simple division. Now, what's interesting about the GDP and the GDP per capita is if you only look at the GDP, it might make a country look really, really rich, like in the case of China. China's GDP is the third largest in the world, after the European Union, who's first, and the United States, who's second. Well, this would make you think that China's people are doing as well as United States citizens, or at least very close. And it might make you think that the citizens of China have a similar standard of living to the citizens in the USA. But this is not really true because you have to look not at just the GDP, you really need to look at the GDP per capita. So let's do that now. Okay, so we've already talked about it a little bit, but China's GDP is over $11 trillion. Booyah shaka, right there, okay? So then you need to take 
your division. Okay. And then you take China's population. China's population is over a billion people. It's got the biggest population of any country in the world. Then you do your equal sign and you come up with about $8,500 per person. Now think about it, that's in a year. So for every single citizen in China, it's only about $8,500 a year. It's crazy. So now let's do a comparison to the United States. Over $15 trillion spent in a year. Divided by population. Population of the United States is only 313 million, which sounds like a lot, but the United States is a really big country compared to most other countries. And you bring in your equal sign, and you get about $49,000 a year per person. So our GDP looks really, really big, but again, you got to take our population into account, which our population is like one-fourth of the population of China. But we have a much higher GDP per capita. Now, our per capita GDP compared to the rest of the world's per capita GDP, we're not even in the top five. But that's how GDP works, and per capita. As I always say, I hope this video has been helpful. And GDP is not really that exciting of a concept, but it's often used by different economists to figure out which countries are doing good economically and which countries aren't doing so good. But if you just try to remember that calculating the GDP just means that the government kind of adds up all the money spent in a country in a year. Every single time you spend money in the country, you contribute towards that GDP. So when you bought your lunch today, or if you bought a haircut last week, or a pair of shoes last week at Academy Sports and Outdoors, or maybe you, I don't know, you went to a movie, I don't know, you know where you spend your money, but all that money spent goes towards the GDP. And so if our GDP is the biggest in the land, then all the other countries are going to know that, okay, maybe they've got a pretty good economy. But again, GDP per capita is a much better indicator of how well a country's doing. So, have a good day.